up youtube family welcome back to my space this is evans raiola and guys on today's video we want to talk about the analogy of dr george fraser when it comes to matters second slavery among us the black folks in the u.s he says that the world cup is getting worse and worse each and every day and he thinks the second type of slavery that will happen among us, the black folks in the U.S., will be the economic slavery. And he thinks African Americans, or rather black Americans, should be woke and start working towards ensuring that the wealth gap between the white folks and the black folks reduces rather than keep on increasing. So... Uh, Dr. George Fraser is a prominent figure in the African-American community and a passionate advocate for economic empowerment. He has made several statements about the potential of black people to fall into a second slavery. His argument centers around the alarming wealth gap and economic vulnerabilities within the black community. He stresses that if these issues are not addressed, the community risks a return to conditions uh, of a second slavery, not through physical chains, but through economic subja subjugation. Fraser's message is clear. The lack of wealth building and economic independence within the black community could lead to a situation where future generations are economically enslaved, dependent on others for their livelihood, and unable to pass on wealth to their, to their descendants. This modern form of slavery will be characterized by economic powerlessness, where systematic inequalities and financial illiteracy prevent true progress. So guys, I want us to watch this video of Dr. Fraser trying to advise black Americans to pass on their wealth, to work hard and pass on their wealth to the future generation just to ensure that there may not be another slavery, which he calls an economic slavery. So guys, I want us to watch this video and then we will stop it at the end, then give a critical analysis of the same. Let's watch this, guys. Interesting article in the Wall Street Journal. I hope you saw it. Interesting. It said that financial illiteracy is an American problem. That's what the Wall Street Journal said. Financial illiteracy is an American problem. And demand did that America both the public, private, and independent sector invest billions of dollars in bringing America to financial literacy. That's the Wall Street Journal said in an editorial. Now we know that when white folks catch a cold, black people catch pneumonia. So if financial illiteracy is an American problem, it is 10 times the problem in our community. We understand that. Therefore, it is time for us to put economic development and wealth creation, closing the income and wealth gap between blacks and whites in America. I did not say blacks and Hispanics. I did not say blacks and Asians. I did not say blacks and Arabs. Right. I said blacks and white folk. That's what I said. Because that's where our issue is. It is time for us to close that gap. It is time for us to put economic development on the front burner. It is time for us to create a mantra and slogan around that idea. And that mantra and slogan, as I have been saying for the last five years, is that economics is the new black power. Economics must now become the new black power. All right. And this cannot be done without the cooperation, the investment, and the engagement of the most important, the most trusted institution in our culture, and that is the black church. They must touch it. And so we must devise a system that allows us morally and spiritually to fulfill Proverbs 13, 22, that a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That is what the Bible says. Interesting article on the front page of USA Today, Bishop. Thank God it was below the fold, but it was on the front page. And here's in essence what the article said. 
It said that if nothing changes among African Americans, mm -hmm. no, let me back up. That was another article. This one said that African American baby boomers, African American baby boomers, will be the first generation of Africans in America to raise another generation of Africans in America that will not do better than them. So in the 400 year history of our people in this country, we are the only generation to raise another generation that will be worse off. We need our asses kicked. <laughs> and the forefathers must be rolling over in their grave. All right. You can count me out of that statistic. I will not participate, and you must not participate in that statistic. Understand that everything we do, we do for our children, just as everything our parents did, they did for us. We cannot allow this to happen. Not on our watch. Further investigation, further studies, further statistics. Tell no, that's not hype. I'm not exaggerating. The shots have been fired. The flares have been fired. So we can either listen and do something, or we can continue to party. <laughs> Make Grammy-nominated rap songs. <laughs> Buy our red bottoms. Gucci's and Ferragamo's and wear all this stuff. Well, let's just see if white folks are right. Family, that speech by Dr. George Fraser is one speech for the books. And um, it's a speech that I'd want for all black Americans to watch and get to understand what the analogy of Dr. George Fraser saying that um, there'll be economic slavery um, in the black community in the U.S. in future. It's time that the black community tries really, really hard to work hard and um, get to give their future generations wealth um, to their descendants because Dr. Fraser thinks that there'll be an economic slavery and that black folks will be subjected to another slavery, which will not be good to them. So Dr. George Fraser starts um, his statement by saying uh, there'll be a second slavery for black folks. For 400 years, black Americans have found their way through the obstacles who are the white supremacists. We all know that the white supremacists are big on trying to push um, the black Americans down. They, they're trying to push them down because they know that the genetics of black folks is dominant um, as compared to their recessive genetics. So they'll always want to subject um, black um, folks into forms of racism and try to put them down and make them feel inferior. And um, he proceeds to say, um, if white folks catch cold, black people catch pneumonia, you know, and um his intent for using that analogy is that um, if financial illiteracy is an American problem, then it's 10 times a problem to our American community, to our black American community rather. Therefore, it's time for us to put economic development and wealth creation ahead and trying to close the wealth gap between white and um, blacks in America. He says it's time that black Americans try to improve themselves. It's time that we try to push on um, economic development among us ourselves. Economics must become the new black power and it can't be done without the cooperation of the black church. Listen, and I repeat, economics must become the new black power. You know, you understand what power is. So if economic must become the new black power, then um, it means that black folks should um, work so hard, get opportunities, um, get to be able to get nice jobs outside there. That, that would be the economic center sector. And he says that without cooperation with the black church, it could be difficult. And um, he quotes Proverbs 13.22, that a good man leaves his inheritance to his children and children's children. 
An article said African American baby boomers will be the first generation to raise children that will not do better than them. That would mean that the black American baby boomers mo mostly um, will not get an opportunity or rather they did not get an opportunity to provide wealth for their children's children. And that is the biggest fear of um, Dr. Fraser, Dr. George Fraser. His biggest fear is um, of um, black people not being able to pass on the inheritance to their children because he believes that in the future generations there will be economic slavery. And that is the message that he's trying to push that we black folks should work hard and create wealth that would uh, be of inheritance to our future generations. You know? Uh, studies say that if nothing changes, it will take black people 228 years, if ever, to close the wealth gap between blacks and whites in America. It will take Hispanics 89 years. Why do you think that um, it will take Hispanics 89 years and um, black generation, or rather the black Americans, 228 years? Dr. Fraser emphasizes on family and I'm pushing wealth creation amongst the family and trying to give um, inheritance to your children. And he says that Hispanics are very, very big on the family unit. And that's why it will, be, it will take 89 years for them and it will take 228 years for black Americans. This is according to a research that was done. The prediction of think tanks in Washington, D.C., is if we do not get our acts together, we'll have no money in, the ma in a market-based economy, in a democratic capitalist society. We will work our way into a second slavery. And guys, that is just the biggest fear for us black folks. That, that would mean that we will go down in history over a second slavery, and it will be an economic slavery. Listen again, the prediction of think tanks in Washington, D.C. says if we do not get our act together, we will have no money in a market-based economy, in a democratic capitalist society. We will work our way into a second slavery because the white folks shall have gained more and more wealth. They shall have created more and more wealth. The wealth gap between us and white folks would be... Um, bigger and bigger, it will be a bigger wealth gap, and that would mean that black folks will start languishing in poverty, and black folks will start begging their way, you know, and that would mean that that would be an economic slavery. This time, slavery won't be a physical one, so it's high time that we black folks push, work hard, create wealth that um, would last us and our children's children, and um, pass the same analogy to our children, psych them up, Show them how to develop wealth. Show them how to work hard. Tell them how economic power is so, so instrumental right now for black folks in the U.S. If it means for black folks to live freely in a very, very supremacist, white supremacist country like the U.S. Guys, this was a very, very powerful message. And um, he proceeds to say we can either listen and do something or we can continue partying. We can make Grammy-nominated rap songs. He now starts being sarcastic in a way. We can continue wearing Gucci, Gucci's and Ferragamo's instead of us focusing on how we can create generational wealth. So guys, thank you so, so much for tuning to watch this video. Kindly do consider subscribing to my channel for amazing, amazing black stories in the U.S., black stories in africa and in the diaspora guys the goal for me doing these stories is for us to enlighten each other for the black folks to um try and elevate themselves from white supremacists who are always trying to put us down and make us feel inferior and um this message is just to um psych up all the black folks who take there and um Tell them that we should continue with the um, good work we are doing. Let us push harder so that we do not face um, this um, revealed or rather prediction of um, a second slavery, which will be economical. We, we as the black folks went through a lot of things. Our forefathers 
um, who were taken outside of Africa, went to the US, were put into slavery for more than 400 years. It wasn't easy for them and it, would, it wouldn't be nice for us to go through a second slavery, which would be economical. And you know how economics is the, is the greatest power right now in the world, man. We should push push and push and create wealth as the black folks in the US. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Kindly do consider subscribing to this channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let us learn together in the comment section and um, we'll be able to grow together as a people. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like this video so that it can be recommended um, to other YouTube users. And you can as well share this video to your families and friends. You could share it to your children and let them know how important economic empowerment amongst black folks is important right now in the 21st century guys thank you see you all in my next video goodbye